Hello everyone. So today I will be talking about Oracle Web Center. I mean, how we can create a data control in Web Center Portal. Okay. Uh, so starting with, let's uh, look at the our web logic console, and we will be starting all the admin server, UCM server, Portal, and this this server. So I will be going to the okay. Hit the Web Center URL and Let's log in into uh, the Web Center portal. Okay, enter the default credential here. Okay, so we are at, in the home of Web Center portal. Now we will go into the portal. Let's wait for some time. Okay. Uh, let's go to the administration. Okay, so here we'll be creating a new portal. If I create portal, okay, we will be using a default portal template here. We will give it a name as demo portal one. Okay. The URL, which URL here is changing a demo portal one. It will be so we are just we are just using for the demo purpose, so it will be a public. Okay, and click on create button. And now portal creation is in progress. So let's wait for some time. Okay, uh, so now the portal is created. And we have a default portal URL is this one. Okay, now. We will go to the administrator. I mean, now try to administrate the portal. Okay, we are into the default page. Go to the pages. We will create a new page on it. And okay, yep, click on here. Click on the new page. I will say, I will use this template. I will say, employ. Will display employee paper. So in this demo, we are going to create a data control first. Then we are going to create a task flow, and inside the task flow, we can configure our uh, SQL query, so which will fetch the data from database tables, and we can configure the SQL queries in, into the portal administration. So it, it's really good feature for from Web Center portal. So we'll be using that. Okay, we'll be click on the create button. It will take some time to create this page. Okay, so this employee page has been created. Now we will go to the shared asset here, and uh, here we will go to data control. I will create a new data control here. I will give name as employee SQL DC. Okay, so click on continue button. All right. Uh, as of now. It's just for the demo purpose, so I'm using Web Center DS schema. I mean, which is the default schema came up with the deployment of Web Center portal. So I'm using this, and in this uh, schema, I've created, uh, I have used some uh, default uh, SQL statements. If you must be, uh, if you aware of a default HR schema, so I have shown that. I mean, this is a, these are the basic uh, queries I'm using. That so you can use it from. You can use it from default HR schema. So if you can see, we have created table location. We have populated few values in it, and we have created employee table, and we have also populated some default value. In it. Okay. So talking about here, uh, okay. So I've been using, I've created the location and the employee table in the web center DS schema, and I will enter some default password here. I will write an SQL statement. So let us start from employee. Okay, that's cool. Now we'll try to test it. Oh, great! So we can see different table information. We will see create this data control so that we can use in the task flow. So if you see, we can see uh, the employee SQL data control. We can make it available here. Okay, 
So now the requirement is in one of the pages of the portal, we have to show the all the columns from the data control. But in another pages, we just want to show two or three columns in the employee table. So what we can do? So we just need to create another uh, uh, data control employee SQL C column DC and data control is same like SQL. We can also create through web services, but in this demo, we'll always talk about SQL. So we'll click on the continue button. Okay, we again put some default password. I will say select uh, first. I will select what are the columns we have. I will click on employees. Okay, so I will say I need uh, employee ID, first name, and last. Name. We found a test button here. Okay, perfect. And now we will create a create button. It will take some time. Okay, so the another data control we have created. Just make it available so it will be available in the catalog. So we have made that, and now we will go to the task flow here. So in this task flow, let's take an example of. I mean, we will create a new task flow here. Employee. Uh, Table. Why not? Yeah. Use scratch or I mean you can uh, set up the mesh style here using blank or the stretch. Click on the create button here. Okay. Scratch it. Make it available here. All right. See here and click on the edit button. So in this edit button, in this task flow, we will integrate uh, the data control uh, from the different sources. So if you see, we have we have got. So many options we can have alert, analytics, intuition, pools, and so many options. So, here will be integrated uh, some data from the different sources. Go, go to the data control, click on the open button. Okay, now if you see, uh, we have employee SQL DC. We will click on the open button here. All right, click on add. And we have commit and rollback option as well. Cool. Okay, so they are asking whether we should we want to create a table, form, graph, selection choice, list box, radio. Okay, so we click on table. They will ask whether you want to create table, read only table. Okay, I want sorting, I want uh, row selection, I want filtering. Click on the next button here. These are the different columns you want. You can shuttle it or not. It's up to you. Okay, you will select all the columns. We can put some default here, default header here. Okay, you can do so many things here. Okay, but we will not do as of now. I will say, okay, great. So now a table will be created in this task flow and we can embed this task flow in the pages we have created in the portal. Okay, cool. And this is a design we have got. This is uh, some different option. We can get it, I mean, select structure. You can also see preview. It's really awesome, wow. So click on the save button. You saved it. Now click on the close button. All right. Okay. Uh, now go to the portal. Click on the new portal we have created. Demo portal here. All right. So if you see, this is the default home page, and this is a page which we have created. Okay. So there's the employee page here. Uh, what we will do here? We will just uh, go there and click edit page. And now we will get different options to create. We can add up uh, alerts, analytics, poll, social and communication, tag, UI component. Okay. So we will go to the UI component. We need some UI component. We need some task flow here. Okay. So uh, go to the add employee table. All right. If you see, we got this information. Uh, okay, so we'll click on save. Okay, it's done. Now click on the view portal. Wow. So we have integrated that table task load from here. It's great. Okay, now go to the home, go to the employee, 
but okay our home page look blank oh i don't like it let's edit this page okay uh go to home okay i want something else i go to the UI component here i will go to the open okay i will okay one second i will click on the administrate portal okay and here we have different shared go to the shared desert all right okay. i will again go to the portal click on go to the edit pages click on your component here click on task flows click on empty table okay but i think it should have all the columns so we don't want that we will just delete it and okay this is also the same thing what we don't need it okay here i have already created some uh, default location task flows and i have created first an uh, query for the location table and then i've created task flow embed the task flow with the data control and i click on that okay cool so if you see i have created two task flows i have already added that i don't need it i just delete it So on the home page we are displaying the location table data from the location table on the employee we are displaying from the employee table oh but we ask for the save let's save it save it all right click on the view portal okay you can change the logo here okay so here we have location task flow and here you have the employee data table you can create few more pages here go create pages sub portals you can also manage members both page or view setting roles etc so that's all for now you can log out from the application thanks for watching please let me know your feedback thank you